I've already uh, burnt it. I used that angle grinder over there to clean off all the powder coat. There's the top. I built this frame to hold it. See it, but these have all been cut off. There, you can see. These are all cut off with the angle grinder. Like that. So from here, I'm going to cut this off here. That's going to be a door. I'm going to put a square door in there. It's going to look nice. I'll show that to you in a second. Okay, so here's the tank with the door cut out. Cut out with the angle iron. Is it here? I'm thinking I could use this for something. I'm going to build a, a trap door underneath it to clean it out. And that might suffice in some way, maybe like a like a, um, a swing door, a trap door, or maybe some kind of slide. That's my plan. Stay tuned. I got this cut out. I rounded the edges. My, what I'm trying to decide is whether I want to make this into a hot plate, which I think is pretty cool, because it's nice, it's kind of a, you know, it's not super thick, but it's got some substance to it. Or, do I want to use it as a door? Here's my, here's my angle iron here. See this? So I could do something like this. It'd work, I'd have to trim the edges a little bit. But it'd make a nice door. I could find a, something to go in here, screw in there, that'd be a handle. I could figure out some latch here. I bought this. It's real thin though. See that bend? So, this was going to be the door. It might still be the door, but I don't know. It's pretty thin, so stay tuned. I'll let you know what I do. All right, so I'm pretty much finished it. Sorry I didn't show you how I did it. I just got too carried away. But I'll show you what I did. Obviously you can see I put in some angle iron here. And the cutout, the cutout was used for the door. You know, this is where the propane went in. That's a double bolt system. And I used um, various pieces. This piece and this piece are from the bottom that was cut out. That's the clean out. This is pretty thin here. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's we'll find out. That's the clean out. That's the system I came up with. Notice the legs. I, I welded these bolts on, then I put these long bolts, and then I put some rebar here. You have to get all the paint off the end of this, flatten it out with a grinder, and then weld it on. Otherwise, you won't get a good weld. I manufactured these. This is from a Citizens Band radio frame for venting. I also use some rebar I had. How do you like that? This is a piece of rebar that came out of an old piece of cement wall that I had destroyed. I refurnished it. I had to clean all the cement off of it. And I used an old uh, saw blade as you can see. I put some angle line here to strengthen it. That works good. And then this is a two inch pipe. Cut a hole in. I used my angle grinder to cut the hole. It worked out pretty good. Got pretty round. So that's it for now. The next step is to paint it. Actually, I'm going to put some handles right here. Made out of rebar. One over here. Then I'll paint it. And then I'll burn it. Test it out. And then I'll post the, I'll finish the video. See the, the saw blade. I use rebar. 
Here's my solution for the handle. I weld it on those things. See the, see the grate in there. This is all done with a cheap flux welder. You can see what a horrible welder I am, but it works good. I welded rebar onto the legs. I got this paint in the automotive section. It's supposed to be good up to, I think, 2,000 degrees, maybe 1,800 degrees. There's my, uh, I don't know if this, that's real thin metal. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll try it out. I know I didn't show how I made this so much, but, you know, 8 inch, 8 by 2 inch pipe. You can figure it out. It's all just, you know, welded together. You have to manufacture these things. I had to bend these things in here, weld them on. Works pretty good. So the last thing I'll post in this video is the burn test. And I'll show you that later. See what? I'll tell you what. I got it going. Let's just see if it stays lit. Hopefully it will. Another log in there. This thing only takes... I mean, that's about the length. That's about eight, nine inches of wood. That's about the max. Like, I got this piece of cedar here. That's about 14 inches. That ain't going to fit. It's fine. That's what I like about this. It don't take a lot of wood. That's what I'm really happy about. What I want to do is get this thing hot enough to boil some water. We'll see what happens. I'll tell you what, man. Lighter fluid's a camper's big helper. That's looking good. In fact, I might want to close the door now. Yeah, we'll see. Let's just make sure it's getting caught. Then we'll close this up. I'll set it slightly. Oh man, I can see. I can see holes there. That's something. I told you I was a crappy welder. The smoke coming out here. So, that's the thing. I got work to do. It's okay. That's what the burn test is all about. Closed. And all it has is two small vents. And if you look down in here, I don't know if you can see it. You see that? It's, it's, it's cooking pretty good, almost like a rocket stove. I mean, it's got a good pressure going from intake to out to the exhaust. The wind is really swirling quite a bit, so that's kind of messing things up. I think what's happened is some of the wind's going down the pipe, and you'll see it venting over here. But, you know, midsummer it won't do that. I am well pleased with this design. I think it's working out pretty good. If I build another one, I might want to move this pipe back here. It'd be a different hole, but it'd give me more room up here. Maybe put a square plate. I'm happy with this, though. I'm not complaining. I really like this. One thing I can see is I have some real thin stove pipe, but the flames come up pretty high if you have enough wood in there, and I don't like that too much. So I might get that union, put another eight inch piece of pipe here, and then put my my pipe on top, my stove pipe, which is a lot lighter, it's three inches. We'll see how that goes. Here's a view from the back. And this water, pot I got going here. That's starting to warm up. It's not very hot, but it's getting there. If I hit it, it this whole thing's pretty hot though, watch. See, yeah, it's sizzling pretty good. <laughs> I'm tickled pink. I think this worked out pretty good. With just those two little holes venting, it's working out pretty good. And I would see that rebar. That gives it plenty of clearance. And my little trap door, I think it's letting in some air too. It's not, it's not airtight. So that's another source of venting coming up from the bottom. Look at that. That's pretty good, huh? Not too shabby.